One minute you're in a home that you're adding to, and then just the next week you're in a complete new home, one you can never even imagine. There are a lot of new things, new tech, you know, items here, um, appliances. We were having fun learning how to use those. Um, we stayed in, enjoyed each other, enjoyed the house. People would come by. We had so many people come by, especially with the ones that helped build the house. They wanted to come back and see it with us. So we, uh, we did have a lot of visitors for the first year, almost two years. We allowed people to come and see, and then we slowed down where we could enjoy it. Honestly, I was just waiting for everything to hit, really. I mean, being such a young guy and in front of a huge crowd, it's, uh, it was a crazy feeling. Mm. You know, and I have my own room coming from where we come from, you know. It's a, it's it's a real good feeling. pressure of not the weight that was there making sure we had a, a secure secure roof over our head um, in the process of adding on we had the termite issue and um, I just wanted to make the home safe for the you know for all of us and that's one less weight to worry about so mm -hmm. I enjoy the space and it was just me and my younger brother but being up under each other mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we got on each other's nerves a lot <laughs> but with the new space, we're able to move a little bit freely, breathe a little bit better. You know, I, you can also see that our mother was less stressed. Mm -hmm. So we were really able to enjoy each other in the house. Mm -hmm. And also, I still shoot pool on the pool table. It's my want and need to give more. We received a great blessing. And I can't do anything but extend a hand to someone else. So I was actually able to do that through community service through law enforcement. So that actually helped me be a better officer coming from that um, event. It honestly taught me how to appreciate things in the uh, community and how to get involved, how everyone came out and showed their support and stuff. And the pleasure of meeting the people that helped work on the house. Now that has been really, really awesome to me. I like meeting people, um, talking to them, hearing their experience because they got to see a side we didn't, but we got to reap the benefits of it. So just hanging out and talking to people about it. I got to make a lot of um, friendships outside of just Extreme Makeover that um, I've actually held on to for the last 10 years. Because it wasn't just a building a house. And um, it was more than just building a foundation for, for the family. It was um, actually very rewarding for me on a personal level as well. Now, as far as the family is concerned, man, if you would have seen their faces the day that they leave that bus and their whole, you could see their whole life change in an instant. Well, for me, um, I still wanna thank everyone that came out and volunteered because it took a lot. It was cold and we didn't get to physically be here and do anything, but to know that we have a caring community that stepped up and got involved. And then the Beasleys, we try to come up there every year around Christmas and uh, show our appreciation. And uh, the ones that we didn't get to see, I still wanna say thank you to them, to everyone that came out because it was a community effort and um, we're still loving it. We're thankful every day because it is a blessing and it's a blessing from the Beasleys and the community. Mm -hmm.